Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and if you're new here, I'm super excited that you're here. This is a special episode. I usually do DIYs every week on Sundays, unless I'm in a collab or something else. But um, I also do Tipsy Talk, which is just kind of a fun way to connect. I tell you a little bit about myself. Eventually, I think it'd be cool to do Q&As and stuff, and I make a fun drink. So today we made a Christmas mimosa from the Tipsy Bartender. So if you have not seen his channel, he's really funny, makes really cool drinks, um, and even makes drinks that others have like submitted to him, which is cool. But I've always wanted to try one, and so that's what we made today. So let's jump to that clip. For the Christmas mimosa, the ingredients are champagne, pomegranate seeds, fresh rosemary, and a little grenadine. Super easy to make. I'm just pouring a champagne. I don't actually own champagne glasses, which is interesting. Um, it's on my, you know, adult to-do list to buy those eventually. So I'm just pouring in some champagne into a glass. Again, I'm just following this recipe directly from the Tipsy Bartender YouTube page. The only thing I forgot is the salt on the rim, but that's okay. I sprinkled in some pomegranate seeds, which actually are my favorite fruit, and I love the way they look in here, almost like a little lava lamp. And then all I do is take a splash of grenadine and some rosemary, just a sprig, and swirl it in there. I think this would be great to let it sit for a little bit first to get some of those flavors more infused, but otherwise it turned out really tasty. Pretty cool, huh? Admittedly, I did forget I was supposed to put sugar on the rim, but we'll survive. Um, it's really cute. It's pretty. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not good at this, guys. I'm, do I'm recording on my phone because I lost my SD card and I'm pretty heartbroken about it. And if I don't find it, I'm missing a whole video's worth. But anyways, I thought I would, first of all, cheers. By the way, this mostly just tastes like champagne. But it's fine. It's cute. And I'm a sucker for pomegranate seeds. Um, I thought I would talk to you guys today about 2021 and what my goals are and things like that because this video is going to come out right before them. Um, and that's why I'm wearing all these like fun wintry snowflakey kind of colors. I just thought it would go better with the theme instead of like I have Christmas signs up normally. They're hiding. But anyways... I made these in the video that I hopefully won't lose. I, my video that's on the SD card that I lost is um, super easy, like DIY accessories and super cheap. And so I made these and that video is missing because my SD card's missing. So let's hope for the best. Anyways, cheers again. Let's talk about 2021. Let's get in a better mood because we, my honey and I have been searching for like a solid hour each, and we can't find it anywhere. The more it sits, I think the more I can taste the uh, rosemary. Okay, um, so I <coughs> have talked about this previously. I have a lot of different dreams and such and oh, my mom is calling me mommy I'll call you back um I just feel like I have so many things I want to do but um and I'm not a big like new year's resolution type of person but um there are some things that I'd like to do in 2021 that I think are accomplishable for example I'm going to reach a thousand subscribers I know I'm baby channel now but I just know it I know we're going to grow. It's going to be awesome. So look out for that. 1,000 subscribers, 2021. We're doing it. We're going to get monetized. Um, I also think it would really be cool um, just to explore my area a bit more. If you haven't watched my videos yet, I, I'm from Wisconsin, but we just moved to northern New Mexico. I'm studying for grad school in Santa Fe, and um, everything's really close here. And so I'd love to just explore more. So that's just one of my goals for 2021 in general is just check out the area more. I visited before and it's really um, just beautiful and artsy here. And so we're looking forward to exploring more for sure. Um, what else? Um, I want to be able to give back more. I'm happy to be working in the community again. I work two jobs, one's retail, one's in the community. As a community support worker, <laughs> 
but I really a lot of times don't feel like I'm doing enough and so if I can donate my time somehow or donate old things to shelters or places like that as opposed to just like it's not a bad thing. I'm not, you know, more than just like, I'm going to donate to Goodwill or I'm going to volunteer one day before Christmas and that's it. Um, but I would do want to give my time more. What else do I want to do in 2021? I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited for this channel to grow. I, I'm hoping that I get better at editing. I will get better at editing. editing. Um, and I really just hope to attract the audience I'm looking for. I think there's like this big um, conception of just like hopping on the bandwagon and um, you know doing whatever's trendy but I want to attract people I want to attract my people you know like I'm love a good cocktail my coaster sticks every time apparently <laughs> um, you know who doesn't love to just have a little cocktail and do a little crafting so Although it's awesome to have anybody support me, I'm excited to have people who might genuinely like resonate or identify with my channel. Um, something, if you guys didn't catch my interview on the Crafty Weenie and the DIY with Nadia show, I'll leave that link down be below as well. Um, but I just want to, I really want to grow this channel to support what my bigger dreams are. I want to do community art. Um, like have some sort of community art center or something um, in urban areas. Um, that's just kind of where my passion is. But I'm also really interested in um, opening like a margarita bar and then having that be also a rotating gallery. So this would be something that changes every month. Um, we see different artists like that's been a huge dream of mine for a few years now. Um, but my primary is definitely my goal in life and has been for many, many years is I just want to help people and I want to make art and that's it. And I'm happy to do that. I'm studying art therapy, so I just know I'm going to have at least the education behind it. Um, and my work has been about youth and arts for five years now. Um, and so however that manifests itself. So any steps towards that I think would be cool in 2021. I also hope to make friends. <laughs> it's really hard moving somewhere new and making friends during a pandemic. Um, I definitely get along with some of my classmates, but I've only met like one of them in person and then have seen like two of them in passing. But um, I'm looking forward to that because it's real awkward right now when people are like, did you make friends yet? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Um, I mean, yes and no, right? Like, it's not that I haven't got along with people. I just, I don't know. It's just weird only getting to know someone online or through class. Anyways, well, that's a goal too, I suppose. Um, what are your guys' goals for 2021? Do you believe in New Year's resolutions? Um, do you do them? Do you have other goals? I just hope to make each year bigger and better. It's going to be, I'll be turning 29 in 2021, so I'm scared, but I'm going to live my, listen, if COVID's happening still or not, I'm going to live my best life before I'm 30, okay? 30 has been haunting me since the second I turned 25, Um, so I'm going to live my best life. No matter what. I don't know what that means yet. And I'm definitely going to plan a trip for 30 year 30. So my best friend and I went to Jamaica for her birthday when she turned 30. And we lived our best lives in her 20, 29th year of life. Like we had so much fun. Um, so that's my plan. I wish I had a little bit more money to travel. Like right now we're pretty financially strapped since I'm working part time only because of school and my job pays mediocre um but that's the hope I really believe a lot in like manifesting things into your life and that if you really believe it's gonna work out it's gonna work out and so I will be going and I'm going to live my best life regardless year 29 I'm going to be on vacation for year 30 and we're gonna hit a thousand subscribers if you have not subscribed, I really hope you stay and join me. 
Um, and what really helps me is just sharing this video with others, sharing it with people you think might enjoy it. I do have some exciting ideas. I have a few collabs coming up that are really exciting. Um, and I have a couple ideas. I haven't hashed out my road to 1000 idea yet, which I talked about a little bit in my tipsy talk last time. Um, but I am still thinking about that. Like, what does the road to 1000 look like? How can I engage people more and attract my people? Um, so I'm def it's definitely on my mind. I have some very small ideas, but I also have some exciting stuff coming up. And hopefully that's exciting and engaging for everyone. Um, so yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think uh, I should do and what type of ideas or cocktails I should do in 2021. I'm also really interested in hearing what your interests are or do they align with that stuff. I'm really into, um, I just really love working with kids, which is hilarious because I used to hate working with kids many, many years ago. But they're just so bright and brilliant in the future. And so um, I just love their free spirit. Like I get to be such a weirdo around them and they think it's awesome. Um, so yeah, I don't know where this rant is going. Goal in life. Help people make art. Goal next year. Make friends. Have a great old time. Tra travel by the 30th birthday. Okay, I don't know if that's going to happen before 2021 is over or after. We'll figure that out when the time comes. Um, and hit a thousand subscribers. We're going to get monetized 2021. You just wait for it. So, <laughs> um, cheers again. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, wait. Also, if you have any ideas of what you're interested in for my next Tipsy Talk, definitely leave comments down below with that. Um, and if once a month is good, you know. Do you want to see this more or nah? I don't know. Let me know. I really appreciate your feedback. Bye, guys.